G'day guys, Morsey here. Welcome to the tutorial for this guy. My 4x6 uh, Dirty Elevator. Uh, it's called Dirty because you can see the wiring on the inside. Um, it is only 4x6 though, so it's very small. And I'm going to do a tutorial on it now. Um, I actually intended to do this and that one in the same video, um, but it turned out it was going to be too long. So just ignore when I when I talk like it's um, got more parts to it because I just separated them into two videos. So the first one is going to be with um, for this one and don't forget to check the uh, the video out for that one over there as well. Alright let's get started. Okay up first is the 4x6 dirty elevator uh, the one where you can see the wiring on the inside and we're going to start by digging a hole that is too deep by too wide and we're going to put obsidian at the bottom we're going to break out the side here and put full blocks we're going to break out the back here and here we're going to put a slab there and a slab there block on top two more slabs and then we're going to put redstone around like that we're going to keep going up with the same pattern and I'll just do that and we'll get back to it in a minute. Okay, just doing the last level here. Uh, go up as high as you want. Uh, I'm just going to stop here so I don't have to go up too high. Spend a lot of time. So finish on the sides like this. Uh, that's how you should finish up like that. Oh, missed the spot. Um, what am I doing? Here. And there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's all that done. Uh, now we're going to put in the comparator. So we're just going to knock these blocks out here. And I'm just going to change these out for quartz because it looks nicer and we'll get our comparator uh, we're going to put the comparator there full block there this here and a bit of redstone on top like that we're going to also knock these guys out and put another block like that all right um, now let's just take a quick look here we'll turn this on and Actually, we'll turn it off for now, if I can. There we go. Okay. There's our elevator complete. Well, not really. Uh, but at least it works. Um, so we know that the wiring is uh, good. So let's turn this back off. Now, if we uh, have it on this mode, which is normal mode, we can see where the redstone goes up and we'll go up to the point where there's a break in the signal which is just there you can see it's not lighting up so this is where we need our second level so we'll just build this out a little bit and we'll do much the same there block there this guy like that here we'll actually put another block there just to uh, help with some of the timing so that goes like that and that's on subtract as well Alright, now what we'll do here is we will dig this out and we'll put a block on the bottom with a torch and another block there. Uh, we will then dig this out as well, one, two, one, two, all the way through here and I'm just going to replace the bottom row here so it looks nicer and we'll put a lever on the front here like that and power that that's our on off for the time being we're just going to continue all the way up here let's go right up there and we're just going to knock out every second block here and we're just going to put torches on all of those like 
that. All right, now it's important to note that the comparator is attached to a block with a torch on top, and this one is a block with a torch on top. If your comparator is sitting, say, here, like that with a torch directly in front of it, uh, you need to go a little bit further either up or down until it's doing this. Um, that way they're all timed correctly and when you turn the stack off they all turn on and off at the same sort of interval which is what we need. So let's go back down to here and we'll turn this on again and we'll set this one up again to subtract. Now this should go past this second level if we've done it correctly which it does, it goes all the way up to the top here. Now it stops again, so there must be another break here somewhere. We can see there's some signal there, and it stops about there, so we need to do this one here. So we'll put comparator here, uh, block there, and we'll run it like that, and we'll put one more block there as well. Alright, so that finishes off the rest of the signal. You can see it comes all the way up to the top here. Okay, now that we've got all the comparators set up, this little piston guy is uh, chugging his heart out. Um, as we did it while it was turned on, some of the comparators will actually comparators will be actually out of sync with each other. So to get them back in sync, we need to turn this off. And wait a moment, and then turn it back on. And what we should find now is this piston goes all the way to the top where previously it wouldn't have because they were out of sync and it should go all the way down to the bottom so they're all in sync which is good so let's turn that off next we need to power this section under here to keep this piston down when we don't want it to go up so we're just going to knock some more blocks out here go down below this so we're going to work two blocks below this obsidian here you can see the other half of our line there which is good I'm going to put some blocks here like that underneath and I'm just going to fill this in here as well I'm going to put a block, piece of redstone there and a piece of redstone there block in front and then we're going to put some repeaters the repeaters don't have to be set to anything, that's fine. We're going to put torches underneath here, and then here, let me just uh, redo this a little bit. I'll put them back on this. So yeah, repeaters, and here we want a block and a redstone across there, and we'll knock those two out as well. And here we're going to put... Um, a block like that all the way across to there and then we're going to put repeaters on the inside here all set to set it to four two lots to four and let's just break this to get into here and we'll do a last one here to four and then one just set to one and we'll put this slab back like that okay and we'll put one piece of redstone there alright that's that part um, now what we have is the piston will actually be stuck on the bottom let's just demonstrate that quickly so that's being powered so that's going to stay where it is even when we turn the system on it's staying where it is now we need to power this line so this is where the buttons are going to come in so at the moment this is where the base of the elevator sits when it's idle so it sits at that level uh, we want to come down from there to the ground level so let's put some stairs for a little bit of decoration here so we'll go stairs then we'll go blocks to here and then we'll go more stairs and I'll just get rid of these to that block there okay next we're gonna have block there block there and two up like that that's where our buttons are gonna go let's just grab some buttons here so that's where the buttons are gonna go 
and underneath we're going to do the uh, piston extension uh, of the button so we're going to put a sticky piston underneath so that's directly under that column there and we're going to put a redstone block underneath that as well we're going to do the same on this side so we're going to have a sticky piston underneath and a redstone block there and let's just get out of here okay so this now works uh, as a bud switch because there is a block gap between here and the button normally this would not work um, to power the piston however because we have this pulsing redstone nearby it actually operates like a bud switch so we can have these nice looking floating buttons here that will still operate the piston so this piston pushes the redstone block down here which powers these repeaters turns the torches off which lets the pistons fly so that's that part let's get out of here again piston's gone all the way to the top and now it's coming back and it's going to just pull up nicely on the obsidian and there we go alright now we're going to set up the top half of the uh, elevator this is where the pistons get held uh, so they don't go down and what we're going to do is just put two blocks here like that and two torches on the front this block if you've got it remove it so that it's just a torch here like this and these guys are now powering this top line um, then we're going to actually go down a block and around the corner here all the way over by two we're going to add three blocks on top of there and three blocks there so that separates this line we're going to put a block here and a block there, we'll get rid of this one dot a redstone there and we'll put repeater here set to two repeater here set to four piece of redstone there block there and another repeater here set to four and a piece of redstone there next we're going to run this line up over the top here we're going to stop there and we're going to put a block on top and then one up one higher and then a slab that way so that makes a one-way line which goes down to here uh, what we've just done there is basically created a, a bit of a messy pulse extender for this button here so when we push the button torches go off and there's a small delay between when the button comes back out and the torches turning back on that allows the piston to get up higher and then drop down again so that's what that is about okay here so we're going to look at the calling side uh, it's actually pretty much already done uh, via what we've done here so we've got the line of repeaters this redstone block gets pushed down to here which powers the line of repeaters um, at the other end what we want to make sure is at the moment you've probably got this you want to make sure you have a block here to accept the pulse from the red repeaters and pass it on down to that line uh, the repeaters are there to stop the machine from turning off too early because if it turns off too early as say as soon as we push this button if the machine turns off this will no longer pulse and this guy will actually stay extended because it's no longer being uh, updated by this redstone pulse so that needs to pulse for long enough for this to be retracted hence why we have the repeaters here so let's go up to the top here and add the pulse delay here so here we've got this uh, last torch we've got we can actually well we could probably remove that torch we don't really need him uh, but what we will do is take the signal from this block which when the system is on this will be powered and we'll go this way by two and we'll go underneath the edge here up to that point we'll put a block there and we'll also put a repeater here because we don't want it to join to this bit of redstone here then we'll just put a line going here up to this we'll knock the middle out of that and put a torch inside so that powers that 
So now when we send the pulse up through here, this will go on. It'll turn this guy off. Um, sorry, this will already be on. When we send a pulse up, it will turn it off. And that will turn this guy on, which will use this pulse extender to turn these torches off for a large amount of time so that the pistons have time to go back down again. So if we turn this all back on again, we should be able to give that a test. So it's all going there. Let's just send them up. Okay, so they stop here. Now let's give the call button a try. If we push this, system turns off for a bit, comes back on, and as we can see, the pistons are returning. So that's working, that's good. Let's just send them back up again, and we'll check the button at the top as well. Alright, so if we're at the top and we want to go down, we'll hit that button. And down they go. Working good so far. Alright guys, that's actually it. Um, so this is now working. And all you have to do is put whatever skin around it you want. Um, and yeah, it's it's working, ready to go. Last thing to do is probably jump on and give it a quick test run. Let's see if it lets me here. Let's hit the button. Yep. And we're going up. I'm just a little bit worried about the lag with my uh, recording causing me to glitch, but it seems like I'm okay at the moment. So we're at the top. Here we are. And we'll go back down. And everything looks good. Well, that's all for this tutorial, guys. Um, I hope uh, you followed it easily enough. Uh, it was pretty simple, I thought, so if you have any troubles, just um, write in the comments and I'll do my best to answer anything that uh, you're having trouble with. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. It should be quite easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and... Don't forget to uh, check out the other video on the clean version of this elevator, uh, which is which I've done over there, and there'll be a separate tutorial for that. All right, keep your eyes peeled for any uh, future videos coming out. I've got some more cool ideas um, that uh, I want to show people, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and see you later.